Now to create perspective text in Photoshop where your text fits along a surface in your photo, you can use the warping adjustment, but it is a little bit difficult to get the perfect angle. To make your life a lot easier, you can use the vanishing point filter. So to begin, you need to create a piece of text using the type tool. In this case, I've just created a piece of text here, it says perspective, and I'm using a nice bold font. Generally, a more bold font is going to look better in these types of projects. Now with your type created, we need to copy the pixels within this type layer. That is because to apply our text with a vanishing point filter, we have to use a rasterized version of the text. To keep it as simple as possible, that just means we need to copy and paste our text. So to begin, I'm going to first copy the text by selecting all of the visible pixels. I'll hold Command or Control and click on the T icon of the type layer, and this will create an active selection of all of the characters in the text. Now to copy everything within the selection, I'll press Command or Control C to copy, and then I'll disable the visibility of this type layer. Since we no longer need this selection, I'll click on Deselect, and now we need a place for our vanishing point filter and our text to be applied onto. So I'll create a new transparent layer above everything else. With that layer active, I'll go up to Filter, and down here to vanishing point. And this is where we can create all of the planes in our image. So to begin with the create plane tool, we just need to click along the lines or the angles that define the surface that we want to place our text or image on. So I'm just going to click along the edges of the brick here so that the horizontal and vertical lines of the plane are parallel to the horizontal and vertical lines within the wall here. So clicking like so to complete that, this grid represents the plane surface that we will apply our text onto. But since I want to also create another plane that extends onto this wall so my text can wrap around the building, I need to create an additional plane. But to make this really easy, I can just hold Command or Control, click on this middle anchor point, and drag out in the direction of the other wall like so. Now obviously this doesn't quite match up, so I'll click on these anchor points and just refine the angle of that additional plane to the other surface. Once you're happy with your planes, we're ready to go and paste our text into the vanishing point window. So since we copied our text before, we can just press Command or Control V to paste our text into this window. And now activating the transform tool, I can click and drag on this text and place it onto the two planes here. And now it's going to be locked into the perspective of the two planes that I have set. So I'll just go and place it somewhere like this hold the shift key and drag out in the corner of that transform box to scale the text and position this as I would like within the photo. So I'll do something like this for now. With the text applied, I'll click OK. And now that text is on this new transparent layer. But obviously this doesn't blend in very well. So to make this look a little bit better, we can use blend if. Double clicking on that transparent layer with our perspective text, going to the blending options, we want to go to the underlying layer slider of blend if, and by adjusting this point right here, we're going to tell Photoshop that anything that is a shadow on the image layer below our text, we do not want our text to appear on. Therefore, as I move this slider over, it's going to remove the text from the shadows of the brick building and blend things in. But to feather this a little bit more so it looks more blended, I can hold Alt or Option and click just outside of that point to separate it. Now I can feather this result so that it blends in a little bit nicer and the transition between visibility and invisibility is a little smoother. Once you're happy with the result, I'll click OK. And if you have any final areas to touch up, such as removing the letters from key details like the windows here, we can just add a layer mask to that layer, activate our brush tool, and using a relatively high hardness of brush, we can just go ahead and paint black over the areas that we do not want to see our text in, such as the windows here, to finalize the result. With any bits of masking complete, with the help of the blend if adjustment and the vanishing point filter, you can see how this gives a really awesome effect. It was super simple to apply, and this also works on images as well. Now, if you want a super simple way to remember everything that we covered in this lesson, I created a free lesson cheat sheet that you can download mode in the description below that breaks down everything that we discussed in this lesson in a nice bite-sized PDF. So if you want to get access to that, it's totally free. It's in the description below. And with that, I'll see you next time.